Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me. Uh, today we have the Akita Instant Privacy for Smart Homes. This is a Kickstarter campaign. Let's get into it. So this is an IoT security device um, and basically goes in your home and makes tra uh, keeps track of what's going on in your network to make sure that your baby monitor, uh, smart thermostat, Amazon Echo, etc. haven't been hacked. Uh, at least that's what it claims to do. Let's watch the video a little bit. My name is Dr. Ken Baylor. I've been in cybersecurity for the last 21 years. And my life um, I like to get picky on these videos. Dr. Ken Baylor seems like a nice guy, but look how intense his eyes are. My last key roles have been chief security officer at Symantec and head of compliance worldwide for Uber. In the next three years, there's going to be 60 billion IoT devices in people's homes. That's 50 devices per individual home. Every one of them will be running a different version of firmware. Will be so it goes into a little bit specifics, but basically the, there's a lot of uh, smart devices that are going to be in the home, which means a lot of potential security uh, vulnerabilities, especially um, given that you know they're not all necessarily staying up to date and whatnot uh, as different hacks are discovered. So anyway, I'll skip ahead of... Uh, Devices have made our lives more comfortable, but comfort comes at a price. So, uh, even worse than Dr. Ken there, there's this guy who looks like the worst actor ever, but actually, if you watch the video, and I, I suggest you go check it out and watch the whole thing um, yourself, because I'm not going to sit through, through the whole thing, but it's actually pretty hilarious, because he's purposely being, I guess, overacting. In fact... Last year alone, there was a 45% rise in cyber attacks on smartphones. And in April 2016, a cyber attack was carried out that brought the internet to its knees. How do they do it? Through smart home devices. This is Akita, the smartest watchdog for your smart home. Why do you need it? Because of this. Yep. So yeah, this is where he starts going. You're not going to be the only one looking through it. And it's not just your camera. Every IoT device in your smart home can be hacked. Your thermostat can tell the hackers if someone is in the house. And your friendly smart home hub might be listening even when you're not asking it to. Uh-oh. So, um, anyway, it's actually, you know, these kind of things are, are on the verge of fear-mongering. I mean, their business model is to make you afraid of what might happen of you know which is actually a good thing because a lot of people are lax in their security um and so in this case he's talking like yeah your your amazon echo or your google home can be hacked and then they can be watching you or your security camera some dude can uh be sitting half a world away watching you uh, walk around your house naked etc cetera, etc cetera. so if you've seen my other videos uh i mentioned this a lot for these smart devices like there was one i did the other day which was like a pet pet buddy what did they call it petty it was like a buddy for your it was like a robot that could interact with your dog or cat but what it really was was like a smart home sentry that had a you know was able to upload pictures to the internet um, and move around your house so those are definitely things that you want to be careful about getting hacked um, so anything that you can do to protect against that is a good idea um, in this case uh, Akita is actually a service as well as a device so it connects to your router and then it keeps track of all the traffic going through your network to see if there's anything suspicious checking that only devices with IPs you've allowed to use your home network are the ones actually using it so one thing is that it basically checks IP addresses to make sure that uh, you know things are coming from some you know suspicious country like overseas uh, so even if you're checking it from your phone, like you're watching your security camera, if some dude in Nigeria is also watching your security camera, or worse yet, giving instructions to your security camera, it'll uh, warn you and then actually blocks it. So you have a basically a, a notification system. So you have to have this app running on your phone. Um, and then also, and this is where it starts getting a little fishy, there's a service you can call. And they'll answer any question you might have. They're there for you 24-7. Akita is super smart. So the 
those kind of things don't come for free though so this is where it's sort of a little bit fishy i guess um you're buying this device uh but it actually comes with customer support which you after the first month you start having to pay for so and they mention in the um i guess at the faq somewhere uh how much they want to actually start charging and they they don't even they say for sure but it'll be somewhere around 15 to 25 dollars so so let's say even if it's 15 bucks a month this thing is running at something like 80 dollars for the device but the service is going to pay you know after after freaking five months um you're already paying more for the service than you ever paid for the device so that'll add up real fast um so they say oh you can actually use it let's see where is it you can use it without the subscription or whatever um but uh yeah here it is so basically this is what they offer you with this paid subscription thing after the first month um but yeah here it is one month free and then the rest you start paying um but you can always use the device and app on your own so the question about that is so I guess as as blocking IPs and all that stuff, it'll work no matter what, whether you have a subscription or not. But will it continually get an upgraded list, uh, updated list of all the security vulnerabilities, or you know those types of things, or is that part of the service, right? So, um, you know, do, is it does it only update if you keep paying them? So that would seriously impact the usefulness of this. Uh, one other thing that they mention is that there's some kind of machine learning between devices that sort of shares threat assessments and and uh, looks for patterns and whatnot. And it gets even smarter the more you use it. It leverages home networks and lets them learn from each other to be even more secure. So that's important because that means that there's some information being shared between your system and other systems. Um, basically, it's uploading to some cloud and they're looking for patterns in it. Uh, which means between the customer service thing and the notifications and also this kind of feedback network or whatever, there actually is information about your network being passed outside. So then the question is, you know, is that a, vulnerab a vulnerability in itself? So does that mean that someone could hack uh, Akita's servers and then figure out, okay, who's got webcams? that uh, that use a certain firmware or whatever that I can hack, right? So uh, there's, you know, you're, you're maybe solving two problems, but you're still adding another problem or another vulnerability. So keep that in mind as well. With your home getting smarter, so should your home protection. Support Akita now and get the smartest home protection possible. So as I said, it, it's, it's cheesy on purpose. Um, which actually makes it more enjoyable. So the video is not bad. Um, they have uh, some. They have another video in here somewhere of, of like a demonstration of sort of how it works. But that one is nowhere near as good. Um, it it's really really homemade looking. It's basically showing like from a code point of view what the thing is looking for. Like like literally they're showing uh, you know screenfuls of numbers running through some uh, monitoring systems that show. Oh look, this is when you're when you're hacked, a webcam starts sending a lot of packets across, uh, which is, which is good, I guess, if you're really, especially if you're really technical and you have a lot of questions. Um, but uh, anyway, the only other thing is that's kind of key and that a lot of people asked about in the uh, comments is this thing uses a regular, you know, reasonable speed um, internet connection. Uh, it's like a cable; it plugs directly into your into your router. Um, but it's not a pass-through. So it doesn't have a gigabit pass-through connector because it doesn't go from the internet to your modem to this thing to your wireless router. Um, this thing just sits in parallel or in another spoke um, on your network, and then it also keeps track of all the it sort of sniffs packets or whatever and keeps track of everything else that's connected there. So, yeah, here it is. It's not like a pass-through. It's a... Uh, additional branch on this tree so despite that it apparently can can treat keep track of stuff 
Uh, one thing that they mention in there in the, I think in the second video, is that it can actually kill the viruses. So if, if your camera or whatever happens to be infected with some malware that transmits packets or whatever, does some kind of zombie stuff, um, this thing can apparently, I don't know if it's rewriting the firmware or what it's doing, but somehow it can actually excise that. So um, that is where it starts getting a little questionable. Like, how can it do that? If these things are supposed to be protect protected against external threats, um, you know, do I have to put in the password in order to reset this thing um, uh, or what? Like, so I hope they have documentation on that because it's not exactly clear. So anyway, as I mentioned, $89 for one, you can get two. I don't know why you would want two. I guess one for the office, one for home, makes a great stocking stuffer, etc. cetera. Uh, the deadline for these things is next month. It goes about another 33 days. Uh, they're well over their initial pledge. Uh, and yeah, I think this one is nine hours to go. So you can get it for $79 if you do it right away. By the time you guys see this video, probably expired. But the $89 one is good until uh, next month. And then it'll ship in April. So that is Akita. I'm a little bit... I'm going to go slightly negative on this one. Just because um, I don't necessarily... Uh, uh, dig that business model with the whole subscription thing um, and you know for the price uh, there's other options you can get a firewall you can you can actually uh, limit I think the um, unique identifiers for your uh, what, what do they call IMEI number whatever for your network devices so that you know like literally you can control which computers can connect to your network and whatnot um, there's a lot of other options that are built into the network. You can set up a firewall, etc. So I don't know if this one is better. Um, and again, the fact that you're buying it from a Kickstarter company means that they could, you know, they could disappear in a couple of months and stop supporting the latest virus and stuff like that. So um, you're kind of taking a crapshoot. And personally, I think I would pass. But check it out. Uh, there is a link below in the description. If you do click on that and buy it, I do get a wee small commission, so keep that in mind. Uh, that's it for today. Check us out on Instagram. No, we're not on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at GoKickMe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.